Hello, welcome to Lauren Foster's where we talk about all things foster care and adoption. And if you have recently been on my channel, you have seen an awesome video from my friend Rebecca, who is a biological mom who lost her children to the Missouri foster care system. They've since been reunified, but if you have not had a chance to check out her story, I can't encourage you to go check it out enough. I will add that link up above or down below. Um, but whether you're a biological parent that needs some encouragement or um, just wants to hear someone else's story, um, because you you have maybe a similar story um, or maybe you're a foster parent and you would like to hear the perspective of a biological mom or um, a biological parent and the stuff they go through um, when they're trying to reunify um, or maybe you're a caseworker or a judge or a lawyer or anybody involved in the foster care and adoption world I heavily encourage you to go over to that video and check it out but for the next few moments I'm so excited that she's gonna talk about an organization that she's a part of called fractured families it is eye-opening um, to see a family go through what Rebecca has gone through um, but to know that there's resources out there and to know that you can have those in your hip pocket if another parent is struggling and needing those resources Rebecca is about to share how you can get in contact with fractured families and get resources from them my name is Rebecca Wanasik and my five children were placed into the Missouri foster care system for 10 months due to an undiagnosed medical condition in my nine-week-old infant her medical condition was undiagnosed Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and severe vitamin D deficiency rickets which resulted in brittle bones. Although her medical condition went undiagnosed the state of Missouri tried to accuse my husband and I of non-accidental trauma or abuse and neglect. After the state of Missouri took my kids away I spent hours upon hours doing my research trying to figure out what could cause brittle bones in an infant, what could cause unexplained fractures, how that could possibly happen. Our baby was born at home, she was 9 pounds 4 ounces, and somebody had said to me, hey, you should get your vitamin D level checked, if nothing else. I had my vitamin D levels checked and found that my level was only five, which is incredibly low. So we decided to have her level checked seven weeks after our kids were removed. In those seven weeks, we found other families that were just like ours. We found that our story is not unique and we found that lots of people a ton of families have lost their kids due to this same medical condition and we met two other families who had already started the idea of fractured families which is the organization that i now reside on the board of fractured families was originally started by two moms who had their children removed one of those her husband was arrested and he was criminally charged and their daughter spent nine months away from him before one day the prosecuting attorney just said, sorry, have your life back. And they were given their daughter back and they were allowed to go on about their lives. The other family was a nurse and I believe an EMT. And they had twins who had identical fractures. And they were accused of knowing the proper mechanics to cause the same fractures in both infants because they have a medical background. Because of their situations, they decided that they had to fight for other families, which is how I gained contact to them initially. Fractured Families advocates for families who are wrongfully accused of abuse and neglect due to an undiagnosed medical condition in their infants. Abuse and neglect due to an undiagnosed medical condition. If you find that you have an infant or a child in your care that has unexplained fractures, this is why Fractured Families is here. This is what Fractured Families does. We advocate for and help protect families just like ours. We can provide you with physicians, with sometimes attorneys, depending on where you are, and resources to help you fight to prove that your child was in fact not abused. We are not exclusive to only the biological families of these infants, but we do also have caregivers that we work with as well. If you need to contact Fractured Families, you can find myself, Rebecca Wanasik, on TikTok, and in my link tree are all of the links to reach out to me. You can email me at Rebecca, R-E-B-E-C-C-A, dot Fractured Families at gmail.com and I will do my best to point you in the right direction. Fractured Families also houses every single state's child welfare manual. This manual outlines the policies and procedures from each child abuse department 
from the initial hotline through reunification or termination. And it's your job as the parent to know that manual front to back. They bank on you not. If you or somebody that you know is being accused of abuse and neglect due to unexplained fractures in your infant, please reach out to Fractured Families. We are here to help you. Don't stop fighting, don't give up, and don't ever admit to something that you know you didn't do. Once again, I can't encourage you enough to go check out the other video where Rebecca tells her story of her children being removed. And um, I shouldn't say even hers because it, it was her and her husband. Um, you do hear her perspective as a biological mom, um, but her and her husband were both very much involved. They were married then, they're married now. And um, just hearing her perspective of what they walked through um, as a couple and um, what, where his heart was at as a dad and where her heart was as a mom, um, the foster parents that encouraged them and then the foster parents that really discouraged them. Such a great viewpoint. Um, so I just, once again, I heavily suggest you checking out that video. I can't tell you enough from my own perspective, being both former foster youth and being a foster parent and adoptive parent, how important it is to be supportive of biological parents and how we are not the judge and we're not the jury. I also have another video out about reunification, but it is the number one permanency goal in every case is reunification. And we just have to let the people involved do their jobs. It's not up to us to be judgmental, but I will say I've heard some of your comments. It's very hard when you've seen them come from real true abuse. And I want you to know that I do hear you. I have kids like that in my home. Um, I, it's, it's not something that hasn't crossed my mind. I have a really hard time encouraging the people that I believe have hurt um, these children that are in my home. But once again, every parent has the right to work their service plan. Every parent has the right to turn things around because I promise you there are other families out there just like Rebecca's. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Scratch me. <laughs> Blessed. Blessed. Like, come on. <laughs> I don't know how much that actually matters, but... Probably. Well, I mean, pause for two seconds, but shaken baby syndrome. Right. Like, did you ever watch the syndrome? Mm-mm. You should watch it. Like, oh. you should Is watch it. Is that on Netflix or something? You're going to be blown away. You're just going to be blown away. No. Oh.